Fidi. The Federation Internacional de HX or World Chess Federation is an international organization that connects the various national chess federations around the world and acts as the governing body of international chess competition. It is usually referred to as FIDE, its French acronym. FIDE was founded in Paris, France, on July 20, 1924. Its motto is Gens Unisumus, Latin for We Are One People. Since October 3, 2018 FIDE's president is R. Katie Deborkovic. FIDE's most visible activity is organizing the World Chess Championship, overall and for special groups such as women, juniors, seniors, and the disabled, and most particularly the Chess Olympiad and World Team Championship for national teams. It is recognized by the International Olympic Committee, IOC, as the supreme body responsible for the organization of chess and its championships at global and continental levels. Since 1980, FIDE is a member of UNESCO. FIDE oversees few other tournaments, although other top level events, almost without exception, respect FIDE rules and regulations. It defines the rules of chess, both for playing individual games, i.e., the board and moves, and for the conduct of international competitions. The international competition rules are the basis for local competitions, although local bodies are allowed to modify these rules to a certain extent. FIDE awards a number of organizational titles, including International Arbiter, which signifies that the recipient is competent and trusted to oversee top class competitions. FIDE calculates the LO ratings of players and uses these as the basis on which it awards titles for achievement in competitive play, FIDE Master, International Master, International Grand Master, and women's versions of those titles. It also awards Master and Grand Master titles for achievement in problem on study composing and solving, and periodically publishes FIDE albums of the best problems. Correspondence Chess, Chess Played by Post or Email is regulated by the International Correspondence Chess Federation, an independent body that cooperates with FIDE where appropriate. The proposed FIDE budget for 2016 lists $2.73 million in expected income, mostly for tournament registration, entry fees, and rights for the Olympiad and World Championship. In 2015, the latter two were replaced by the World Cup rights as a source of funds. For 2014, the largest expenditure is combined staff costs of the Athens, Alista, and Moscow offices, with the Development Commission close behind. Unexpectedly high legal costs were third on the list, just ahead of presidential travel. In April 1914, an initiative was taken in St. Petersburg, Russia, to form an international chess federation. Another attempt was made in July 1914 during the Monheim International Chess Tournament but further efforts temporarily came to an end as a result of outbreak of World War I. In 1920, another attempt to organize an international federation was made at the Gothenburg tournament. Players also made the first attempt to produce rules for world championship matches. In 1922, world champion José Raúl Capablanca proposed the London rules, the first player to win six games outright would win the match. Playing sessions would be limited to 5 hours, the time limit would be 40 moves in 2.5 hours, the champion would be obliged to defend his title within one year of receiving a challenge from a recognized master, the champion would decide the date of the match, the champion was not obliged to accept a challenge for a purse of less than $10,000, 20% of the purse was to be paid to the title holder, with the remainder being divided, 60% to the winner of the match, and 40% to the loser. The highest purse bid must be accepted. Olakin, Bogolubo, Maroksi, Reddy, Rubinstein, Tartakover, and Vidmer promptly signed them. The only match played under those rules was Capa Blankavs Olakin in 1927. In 1922, the Russian master Eugene Znoskoborovsky, while participating in an international tournament in London, announced that a tournament would be held during the 8th Sports Olympic Games in Paris in 1924 and would be hosted by the French Chess Federation. On July 20, 1924 the participants at the Paris tournament founded FIDE as a kind of players' union. In its early years, FIDE had little power, and was poorly financed. FIDE's congresses in 1925 and 1926 expressed a desire to become involved in managing the world championship. FIDE was largely happy with the London rules, but claimed that the requirement for a purse of $10,000 was impracticable and called upon Capablanca to come to an agreement with the leading masters to revise the rules. FIDE's Third Congress, in Budapest in 1926, also decided to organize a chess Olympiad. The invitations were, however, 
late in being sent, with the result that only four countries participated, and the competition was called the Little Olympiad. The winner was Hungary, followed by Yugoslavia, Romania, and Germany. In 1927, FIDE began organizing the first chess Olympiad during its fourth Congress in London. The official title of the tournament was the Tournament of Nations, or World Team Championship, but Chess Olympiad became a more popular title. The event was won by Hungary, with 16 teams competing. In 1928, FIDE recognized Boko Libo as champion of FIDE after he won a match against Max Uwe. Alakin, the reigning world champion, attended part of the 1928 Congress and agreed to place future matches for the world title under the auspices of FIDE, although any match with Capablanca should be under the same conditions as in Buenos Aires, 1927, i.e. including the requirement for a purse of at least $10,000. FIDE accepted this and decided to form a commission to modify the London rules for future matches, though this commission never met. By the time of the 1929 Congress, a world championship match between Alakin and Boko Lubo was underway, held neither under the auspices of FIDE nor in accordance with the London rules. While negotiating his 1937 world championship rematch with Alakin, Uwe proposed that if he retained the title, FIDE should manage the nomination of future challengers and the conduct of championship matches. FIDE had been trying since 1935 to introduce rules on how to select challengers and its various proposals favored selection by some sort of committee. While they were debating procedures in 1937 and Alakin and UA were preparing for the rematch later that year, the Dutch Chess Federation proposed that a super tournament, ADRO, of ex-champions and rising stars should be held to select the next challenger. FIDE rejected this proposal and at their second attempt nominated Salo Flar as the official challenger. UA then declared that, if he retained his title against Alakin, he was prepared to meet Flar in 1940, but he reserved the right to arrange a title match either in 1938 or 1939 with Jose Raul Capablanca, who had lost the title to Alakin in 1927. If Uwe lost his title to Capablanca, then FIDE's decision should be followed. Dan Capablanca would have to play Flar in 1940. Most chess writers and players strongly supported the Dutch Super Tournament proposal and opposed the committee processes favored by FIDE. While this confusion went unresolved, Uwe lost his title to Alakin. The Avro tournament in 1938 was won by Paul Kiris under a tie-breaking rule, with Ruben Fine placed second and Capablanca and Flar in the bottom places, and the outbreak of World War II in 1939 cut short the controversy. Although competitive chess continued in many countries, including some that were under Nazi occupation, there was no international competition and FIDE was inactive during the war. From the time of Emanuel Lasker's defeat of Wilhelm Steinitz in 1894, until 1946, a new world champion had won the title by defeating the former champion in a match. Alexander Olekin's death created an interregnum that made the normal procedure impossible. The situation was confused, with many respected players and commentators offering different solutions. FIDE found it difficult to organize the early discussions on how to resolve the interregnum, because problems with money and travel in the aftermath of World War II prevented many countries from sending representatives, most notably the Soviet Union. The shortage of clear information resulted in otherwise responsible magazines publishing rumors and speculation, which only made the situation more confused. See Interregnum of World Chess Champions for more details. This situation was exacerbated by the Soviet Union having long refused to join FIDE, and by this time it was clear that about half the credible contenders were Soviet citizens. The Soviet Union realized, however, it could not afford to be left out of the discussions regarding the vacant world championship, and in 1947 sent a telegram apologizing for the absence of Soviet representatives and requesting that the USSR be represented in future FIDE committees. The eventual solution was similar to FIDE's initial proposal and to a proposal put forward by the Soviet Union, authored by Mikhail Batvinyuk. The 1938 Avro tournament was used as the basis for the 1948 championship tournament. The Avro tournament had brought together the eight players who were, by general acclamation, the best players in the world at the time. Two of the participants at Avro, Alakin and former world champion Capablanca, had since died. But FIDE decided that the other six participants at Avro would play a quadruple round robin tournament. These players were Max Uwe, from the Netherlands, but Vienyuk, Paul Kiris, and Salo Flar, from the Soviet Union, and Ruben Fine and Samuel Reshevsky from the United States. FIDE soon accepted a Soviet request to substitute Vasily Smyslov for Flar, 
and Fine withdrew in order to continue his degree studies in psychiatry, so five players competed, in a quintuple round robin. But Vignac won, thus becoming world champion, ending the interregnum. The proposals which led to the 1948 championship tournament also specified the procedure by which challengers for the world championship would be selected in a three-year cycle. Countries affiliated with FIDE would send players to zonal tournaments, the number varied depending on the number of strong players each country had. The players who gained the top places in these would compete in an interzonal tournament, later split into two, then three tournaments as the number of countries and eligible players increased. The highest placed players from the interzonal would compete in the candidates tournament, along with the loser of the previous title match and the runner up in the previous candidates tournament, and the winner of the candidates played a title match against the champion. From 1950 until 1962 inclusive, the candidates tournament was a multi round round robin. How and why it was changed are described below. Fidey found itself embroiled in some controversies relating to the American player Bobby Fischer, the first of which took place when Fischer alleged that at the 1962 candidates tournament in Curaçao, the Soviet players Degron Petrosian, Paul Carries and Efim Geller had prearranged draws in their games played amongst themselves, and that Viktor Korchnoi, another Soviet player, had been instructed to lose to them. Fischer had placed fourth, well behind Petrosian, Kiris and Geller. Grandmaster Yuri Averbach, a member of the Soviet delegation at the tournament, said in 2002 that Petrosian, Kiris and Geller privately agreed to draw their games, and a statistical analysis in 2006 supported this conclusion. Fadi responded by changing the format of candidates' tournaments from a multi-round round robin to a series of elimination matches, initially 10 to 12 games in duration, though by the 1970s, the candidates' final would be as long as 24 games. In 1969, Fisher refused to play in the U.S. Championship because of disagreements about the tournament's format and prize fund. Since that event was being treated as a zonal tournament, Fisher forfeited his right to compete for the right to challenge world champion Boris Spassky in 1972. Grandmaster Pal Benko agreed to relinquish his qualifying place at the interzonal in Fisher's favor, and the other participants waived their right to claim spot. FIDE President Max Uwe interpreted the rules very flexibly to allow Fischer to play in the 1970 interzonal at Palma de Mallorca, which he won convincingly. Fischer then crushed Mark Tamanov, Bent Larsen, both 6-0, and Tigran Petrosian in the 1971 Candidates Tournament and won the title match with Spassky to become world champion. After winning the world championship, Fischer criticized the existing championship match format, 24 games. The champion retained the title if the match wasted, on the grounds that it encouraged whoever got an early lead to play for draws. While this dispute was going on, Anatoly Karpov won the right to challenge in 1975. Fischer refused to accept any match format other than the one he proposed. Among Fischer's demands was a requirement that the challenger must beat him by at least two games in order to take his title. Fischer proposed a match format in which the first player to win ten games wins, with draws not counting. But if the result is 9 to 9, it is considered a tie. The fighty argued that it was unfair for a challenger to be able to beat the world champion, yet not take his title. Fisher would not back down, and eventually Fidey awarded the title to Karpov by default. Some commentators have questioned whether Fide President Max Uwe did as much as he could have to prevent Fisher from forfeiting his world title. Fidey had a number of conflicts with the Soviet Chess Federation. These conflicts included during his period as president of FIDE, 1970-1978, Max Uwe strove to increase the number of member countries, and Florencio Campa Mains, president 1982-1995 continued this policy, with each member nation receiving one vote. Former world champion Anatoly Karpov later said this was a mixed blessing, as the inclusion of so many small, poor countries led to a leadership vacuum at the head of the world of chess. Yuri Averbach said the presence of so many weak countries made it easy to manipulate decisions. The events leading to Garry Kasparov's winning the world championship involved Fadi in two controversies. While arranging the candidates' tournament semi-final matches to be played in 1983, Fadi accepted bids to host Kasparov versus Viktor Korchnoi in Pasadena, California. The Soviet Union refused to accept this, either because it feared Kasparov would defect or because it thought Kasparov was the greater threat to reigning champion Anatoly Karpov. Their refusal would have meant that Kasparov forfeited his chance of challenging for the title. FIDE president Florencio Campamains negotiated with the Soviet Union, and the match was played in London.
In the 1984 World Championship match between Karpov and Kasparov the winner was to be the first to win six games. In the first 27 games Karpov gained a 5-0 lead but by the end of the 48th Kasparov had reduced this to 5-3. At this point the match had lasted for 159 days, from September 1984 to February 1985. Karpov looked exhausted and many thought Kasparov was the favorite to win. After six days of talks, on February 15, FIDE President Kampa Mains announced that the matches ended without decision, that a new one would begin in September 1985 with the score 0-0, and that it would consist of at most 24 games. Karpov entered the press conference rather late and said he wished to continue the existing match, with his version of the Mark Twain line, the reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Although nobody has revealed what had happened behind scenes, there were ESPN cameras and reporters from Sports Illustrated in addition to American Grandmaster Max Luggy. When the good cop bad cop routine of Karpov and Kampov Mains caused a commotion and agitated Karpov stared at Kampov Mains, who was caught on film saying, But Anatoly, I told them what you said. Luggy also reported this event in the U.S. magazine Chess Life. Kasparov won the second match and became world champion. Note. This section largely seems to have one source as its basis, and may not take all viewpoints into account. In 1992 Nigel Short surprised the world by winning the candidates tournament and thus becoming the official challenger for Gary Kasparov's world title. Fide very quickly accepted a bid from Manchester, England, to host the title match in 1993. But at that time Short was traveling to Greece and could not be consulted as Fide's rules required. On learning of the situation Short contacted Kasparov who had distrusted Fide and its president, Florencio Campomanus ever since Campomanus had stopped his title match against Anatoly Karpov in 1984. Kasparov and Short concluded that Fide had failed to get them the best financial deal available and announced that they would play under the auspices of a new body, the Professional Chess Association, PCA. Fide stripped Kasparov of his Fide title and dropped Kasparov and Short from the official rating list. It also announced a title match between Karpov and Jantimin whom Short had defeated in the semi-final and final stages of the candidates tournament. Kasparov and Karpov won their matches and there were now two players claiming to be world champion. In 1994 Kasparov concluded that breaking away from Fide had been a mistake, because both commercial sponsors and the majority of grandmasters dislike it split in the world championship. Kasparov started trying to improve relations with Fide and supported Kampa Mainspid for re-election as president of Fide. But many Fide delegates regarded Kampa Mains as corrupt and in 1995 he agreed to resign provided his successor was Kursan Ilyninov, president of the Republic of Kalmykia. In the next few years several attempts to reunify the world championship failed for various reasons, notably inability to finance a match with Kasparov's opposition to any plan that required him to play in a qualifying series rather than go straight into a reunification match. In 2000 Vladimir Kromnik defeated Kasparov in a match for what was now the Brain Games World Chess Championship, the PCA had collapsed by this time. But Kromnik was also unwilling to play in a qualifying series, and objected strongly to Fide's attempt to have the World Championship decided by annual knockout tournaments and to reduce the time limits for games, changes which Fide hoped would make the game more interesting to outsiders. Finally in 2006 a reunification match was played between Kromnik and Veselin Tipalov, which Kromnik won after an unpleasant controversy which led to game being awarded to Tipalov. But the split in the world title had after effects, as shown by Fide's complicated regulations for the 2007-9 World Championship cycle. Because Tipalov was unable to compete in the 2007 World Chess Championship tournament, Fide decided he should have a fast-track entry into the 2007-2009 cycle. And Fide also decided that, if Kromnik did not win the 2007 championship tournament, he should play a championship match in 2008 against the winner, and this provision became applicable because Viswanathan Anand won the tournament and thus became world champion. In 1999, Fide was recognized by the International Olympic Committee, IOC. Two years later, it introduced the IOC's anti-drugs rules to chess, as part of its campaign for chess to become part of the Olympic Games. Fide has entered into a commercial agreement running from 2012 to at least 2021 with the company Aegon Limited in the management of the World Chess Championship and associated events.
Aegon has sole and exclusive organizational rights over the events that fall under the agreement. The first tournament it organized was the London Fadi Grand Prix event in September 2012, followed by the London Candidates Tournament in March 2013, and the Chennai World Chess Championship in November 2013. Aegon subsequently organized the four events in the Fidi Grand Prix 2014-15, the Candidates Tournament in 2014, and the World Chess Championship in 2014. Aegon was also involved in the organization of the 2015 Rapid and Blitz Championships. They organized the 2016 Candidates Tournament and the 2016 World Chess Championship, but have been slow with the Fidi Grand Prix 2016-17 and the 2017 World Blitz and Rapid Championship. Aegon was founded in 2012 in Jersey by Andrew Paulson as the sole shareholder. On February 20, 2012, an agreement between Aegon and FIDE was made, subject to approval by the 2012 FIDE General Assembly. This approval was forthcoming in September 2012. In October 2014, Aegon was sold to its current CEO Ilya Marenzone for the sum of £1. At the September 2016 FIDE General Assembly, it was resolved that Aegon should institute a corporate presence in a locale with more transparency. Marenzone said that they would register in the United Kingdom within a few months. Kirsten Ilyninov was happy with the agreement on the basis that now FIDE itself did not have to expend resources to find organizers for its premier events. The issue of financial guarantees was also important, though as explained below, these have not always materialized. His estimation of 10 to 12 million euros to FIDE from the coming cycles has not yet come to fruition either. The condition that Aegon would be the sole organizer of championship events was disputed originally by principally the Bulgarian Chess Federation, with respect to the candidates' matches for 2012. The FIDE Presidential Board in February 2012 had passed the Aegon proposal, subject to General Assembly approval, with Makropoulos noting that about over 7 mio euros every two years was expected to accrue to FIDE. However, even Aegon's initial deposit, Agreement Section 5, a surety against future difficulties, of 500,000 U.S. dollars within 60 days of signing was disputed at the September 2012 General Assembly, FIDE, as it had not yet been paid. Eventually at the 2014 General Assembly, after an inquiry by Nigel Short, it was resolved that the organization of the Grand Prix was taken in lieu of this deposit. Egon was also supposed to pay $80,000 in conjunction with its, ad hoc, Organization of the 2015 Rapid and Blitz Championships in Berlin. According to Ilya Marenzone, an agreement of non payment was reached with the FIDE presidential board already before the event, while FIDE's version implies that after the event they did not press the matter since Aegon lost €200,000 on it. Starting at the end of 2016, Aegon is obliged to pay €500,000 every year to FIDE. Agreement, Section 4.1. In early 2014, a purported agreement between Paulson and FIDE President Kirsten Ilyninov was leaked, and then published by Chess.com, and others, which allegedly indicated that Paulson was simply a front man with Ilyninov the ultimate benefactor of Aegon. In that Chess.com article Malcolm Payne is quoted as having twice been told by Paulson that Ilyus Vinov owned Aegon, and in a new in Chess article Nigel Short asserted he had also been told this personally by Paulson. In response, FIDE's Deputy Vice President Georgios Makropoulos pointed out that the purported contract was a draft document. The FIDE Ethics Commission ruled in September 2015 that Ilyninov did not violate the FIDE Code of Ethics. There are at present 185 member federations of FIDE. The list fluctuates, as new nations join and sometimes national federations collapse or are unable to pay their dues. The states are Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, Andorra, Angola. Argentina, Armenia, Australia, Austria, Azerbaijan, Bahamas, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Barbados, Belarus, Belgium, Belize, Bolivia, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, Botswana, Brazil, Brunei Darussalam, Bulgaria, Burundi, Cambodia, Canada, Chile, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, Côte d'Ivoire, Croatia, Cuba, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark. Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Egypt, El Salvador, Estonia, Ethiopia, Fiji, Finland, France, Georgia, Germany, Ghana, Greece, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Hungary, Iceland, India, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Jamaica, Japan, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Kenya, Kosovo, Kuwait, 
Kyrgyzstan, Laos, Latvia, Lebanon, Libya, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Macedonia, Madagascar, Malawi, Malaysia, Malta, Mauritius, Mexico, Moldova, Monaco, Mongolia, Morocco, Mozambique, Myanmar, Namibia, Nepal, Fap, Netherlands, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Norway, Pakistan, Palau, Panama, Papua New Guinea, Paraguay, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Qatar, Romania, Russia, Rwanda, San Marino, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Seychelles, Sierra Leone, Singapore, Slovakia, Slovenia, Somalia, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Suriname, Swaziland, Sweden, Switzerland, Syria, Tajikistan, Tanzania, Thailand, Trinidad, and Tobago, Tunisia, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Uganda, Ukraine, United Arab Emirates, United States of America, Uruguay, Uzbekistan, Venezuela, Vietnam, Yemen, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And the other entities are Aruba, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, Chinese Taipei, England, Faroe Islands, Guernsey, Hong Kong, Jersey, Macau, Netherlands Antilles, Palestine Puerto Rico, Scotland, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Wales. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.